हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं आप लोग तो देखिए इंडिया जापान कन्वर्ज इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया तो क्या है चलिए देखते हैं अपॉन ड्रॉपिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ चाइनीज लेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स ड्यू टू सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड जियो पोलिटिकल कंसर्न्स द फिलीपींस इज नाउ री रीडायरेक्टिंग इट्स अटेंशन टू जापान एंड इंडिया एज अल्टरनेटिव सोर्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड सिक्योरिटी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सेक्रेटरी जेमी बोटिस्टा रीअफॉर्म्स दैट अर्लियर दिस मंथ वी है when he noted that the philippines government is willing to tap both countries for development assistance this statement intersects with manila's manila's ke philippines ke capital hai desire to deepen the broaden its security and economic partnership with like minded partner amid beijing's growing unwillingness to act and behave like a responsible neighbor under the leadership of president uh, inka ye kya hai ferdinand marcos junior the philippines has been stead fast in securing its sovereignty and sovereignty rights in the west philippine sea against china's revisionist interest in the indo pacific moreover the heart of marcos junior foreign policy lies in the intent to work closely with like minded tradition and non tradition partners according to manila's attribution to of both tokyo and manila as the important partner allow all three democracies to explore new opportunities for multifaceted strategic cooperation The Philippines and Japan share a close strategic partnership with the former being Manila's major investor and its largest source of overseas development assistance ODA while the partnership traditionally functioned in the context of the United States hub and spoke system bilateral ties are now displaying significant momentum as an independent force with the Tokyo seeing to play a more prominent security role the historic visit of the Japanese prime minister Fuki uh, Fumio Kishida to the philippines mark a turning point in the trajectory of bilateral ties from from being the first recipient of japan overseas security assistance so say the formalizing negotiation for a reciprocal assist agreement raa a meeting between the marcos junior and the kishida paved the way for golden age in the philippine japan strategic partnership which has making which has the making more regular military to military engagement similarly the bilateral partnership between the philippines and india has witnessed noteworthy advancement as manila is now more willingly incorporating new delhi in its strategic calculations the past few months witnessed essential milestone in the burgeoning bilateral relationship encompassing the visit of philippines secretary of foreign affairs enrique manalo to new delhi and the signing of the memorandum of undertaking muo between philippines and indian coast guard which will allow both side to improve their inoperability intelligence share sharing and maritime domain awareness more recently india has also offered to supply a philippine coast guard with seven indigenous manufactured helicopter based on soft soft loan agreement with extended payment terms this potential agreement also comes at a heel of the brahmos supersonic cruise missile delivered in the southeast asian country last this year thus japan and india's blustered engagement in south asia complement the interest of resident countries like philippines to lessen their susceptibility of china's expanding economic clout and deepening power projection capability foreign robust foreign robust ties with friendly regional power in crucial south asian countries itna 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 theek hai yeah indo pacific strategy was there for the contemporary structural conditions of as a opportunity for japan and india to uh, operationalize their shared vision in indo pacific the india japan special strategic and global partnership is being defined through the robust uh, ties they share in terms of security new delhi and tokyo constantly engage in various platform ranging from regular bilateral military exercise and 2 plus 2 meeting in multilateral framework such as quad and the g20 both countries share similar threat perception and increasingly assertive and disruptive china beyond defense cooperation new delhi and tokyo also have embarked uh, on a third country cooperation model in indo pacific and beyond in 2019 indian prime minister narendra modi and his former counterpart uh, shinzo abe welcomed collaborative efforts in establishing industrial growth and development network across asia and africa creating asia africa growth corridor aagc while the project eventually slowed down due to geopolitical turbulence and economic constraint posed by the covid-19 pandemic both countries have recently explored new third country cooperation model through the throughout the region among 
them are the emerging trilateral partnership between India, Japan, Bangladesh, and similarly framework between India, Japan, Sri Lanka. According, accordingly, as India is significantly deepening and is broadening its ties with South Asian countries such as Philippines, New Delhi should consider taking its third country developmental model with Tokyo into a sub-region of a greater Indo-Pacific at a time when resident countries are looking for alternative source of development and security and is the polariz uh, polarizing dynamics of the US-China power competition. So here you can see there are two things happening. First, I will tell you. It was a very long article. I was saying one thing once again. It was India and Japan. Japan has been done. This has been done on your third country model. Okay? Third country model. Like India, Japan, Bangladesh. India, Japan, Sri Lanka. Now India, Japan. इंडिया जापान फिलिपींस होगा तो ये बस कोलैबोरेट कर रहे हैं अपना एक दूसरे का हर जगह इनका बायलैटरल कोलैबोरेशन हो रहा है चाहे क्वाड हो चाहे आपका जी ट्वेंटी हो ठीक है इनको क्या चाहिए इंडो पैसिफिक में चाइना का डोमिनेशन ना हो ठीक है चाइना डोमिनेशन नहीं चाहिए फ्री इंडो पैसिफिक चाहिए तो इसके लिए ये लोग ऐसे आपस में कोलैबोरेट कर रहे हैं और थर्ड कंट्री कर रहे हैं अब फिलीपींस क्या हो गया फिलीपींस को मौका मिल रहा है कि अब फिलीपींस भी सेम चीज चाह रहा है फिलीपींस की कैपिटल मनीला फिलीपींस को प्रॉब्लम हो रही है चाइना के डोमिनेशन से तो फिलीपींस जापान और इंडिया से आप देखिए कोलेबरेट करना चाह रहे हैं तो ये इंडिया के लिए और जापान के लिए एक वापस से एक और कंट्री का यहाँ पे ग्रुप बन रहा है जिसमें इंडिया जापान कोलेबरेट करेंगे फिलीपींस के साथ और इंडो पैसिफिक के बीचों बीच है फिलीपींस तो हो सकता है यहाँ पे चाइना को थोड़ा सा ओवरकम हम लोग करें चाइना डोमिनेशन को तो बस ये ये चाइना का डोमिनेशन इंडो पैसिफिक में हटा फ्री एंड फेयर इंडो पैसिफिक चाहिए हम लोगों को चाइना का डोमिनेशन नहीं चाहिए और इंडिया जापान का कोलेबोरेशन हर जगह चल रहा है बस इतना ही था सो थैंक यू गाइस प्लीज वर्क हार्ड टू अचीव ऑल यू थैंक यू